So a lot of you may be familiar with the Danganronpa series. And with the release of the creator of Danganronpa's new series, Enigma Files Rain Code, we figured we would rate some Danganronpa fits. No, it's wrong. No, you you figured. I'm just here. We're gonna have our anime hater, aka fashion expert, Christian Frugal Aesthetic, judging these dead and living kids. <laughs> So we won't be doing too many spoilers past chapter two. To start this off, I figure we might as well start with our main character, the ultimate lucky student, Makoto Nayegi. All right. I kind of like the, the hoodie. Is that a paper hoodie? <laughs> Honestly, it is though. Okay, let's let's make it canon. This is a shark, this, this is shark a, hoodie. I mean, this is kind of old, but he rocking the converse. These are actually aren't converse from the side profile if you look at it it's actually a pair of common projects achilles lows and that's why you're the fashion expert he really is the lucky student because they ain't released these joints yet but yeah this is a very 2016 outfit blazer with hoodie very classic cool uniform type beat um with the skinny jeans probably b tier yeah that's what i was thinking too i was like it's it's maybe a rung above average the hoodie really pulls it together pun not intended next up during his time at Hope's Peak, Makoto, if you remember, got pretty close to another girl, Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop idol. I need a girl who going Sayaka on Maizono. <laughs> no! If you may know, this is the this the same uh, girl who keeps getting made into standouts by that one guy who has too much time <laughs> and money. Yo, what the hell? Fan favorite. That's a big bitch. <laughs> Keep that in. Why did he make her so big? So what we think of the fit? <laughs> um, I don't know. I really like his red basketball shorts. <laughs> Perfect kind of boring, though. She doesn't have anything going I agree. Going on. It's like, I would say C to D. Yeah, let's give it a D tier. Just f this guy. Let's give it a D tier. Also, Yo. she sucks. <laughs> Next up, we'll have another very known person from chapter one, Leon Kawada. Yeah, that's the Gears of War logo, though. That, that's what I always thought, too. I'm like, damn, you really a stand. He went to the that merch shop for that bro. joint. Green screen me wall bouncing in Gears of War. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Big Gears of War fan here. If we're talking, this is a very, like, old school, like, 2000s fit. No, this is a sick outfit. Yeah. And this I, is I think so it kind of cool. works. This is, like, Harajuku street style. This is, like, the fits that would go. That shirt, the way the the belts are a big inspiration. The belts and the shoes are very inspired. The Japanese take on, like, punk. I really like this outfit, though. Like, this, to me, is an A-tier outfit. Yeah, I would also say it's an A-tier. I think for the time, specifically, especially. The way it's styled and what it's and what it references yeah. for a fucking uh, visual graphic novel or whatever it's called, mm. like this is pretty good. The double belt is a really niche reference. I I'm, I love the double belt, bro. Yo, what's practicality when you got drip? Next up, we have the ultimate high school level swimmer, Aoi Asahina. Um, this is not this is not even an outfit, dog. This is just clothes. You're about to go run. You're a gym teacher. Yeah, I'm like, you're about to go to the gym. Like, this is not an outfit. Yeah, nah, get this out of here, bro. Yeah, this is a, I love Asahina, mostly probably because I'm horny, but this is definitely me. I went like a D. Put this in the D a tier. D -tier. That's here. what I'm thinking too, D tier. Next up, we have the ultimate affluent progeny Byakia Tagami or if you watch Recreo this is Christian's character in the Japanese the direct translation is super high school level air you know, I'm a high school level air yeah that means I'm really good at having money to my name <laughs> I'm really good at having a trust fund yeah what we think it fit I mean it's just like a basic suit it's basic but it's like well tailored the tailoring's great I like the regalness of it it yeah, does there's show some pretty cool details this looks yeah. very elite it really adds the snob this really is like the spit at me type <laughs> i like this we can give it like i'm thinking b b tier high b, b -tier. high b i'm cool with high b next up we have the ultimate gambler celestia lutenberg she looked like the ultimate doll this is the lolita kind of like the lolita vibes she got the vivian westwood earrings her fit looked like my grandma's table her fit she got two muffin cups at the bottom i mean this is really well composed from what i know of her personality just through recreo she's f 
fucking annoying in this outfit. Is, <laughs> outfit's so annoying. Think of her like as cool and collected, but uh, as very manipulative and willing to do things to get her way. Sounds like an annoying person. Kurt, is there a reason why he, her finger's covered like that? Oh, no, that's an accessory. Uh, that is hard. a weapon ring, maybe. I don't know. Uh, where do we want to put her? B tier? I say A. You can put her in the A tier. Yeah, no, you know what? The costume design and the theming is crazy because she is a very annoying person. But I give her an A. What her does Dongan Rampa like? mean? Bullet rebuttal. In the game, you're supposed to use truth bullets to shoot through someone's argument. Yo, that's how I am in a relationship. <laughs> to shoot through someone's argument? Yeah, bro, you can't argue with me. I'm only arguing to win. <laughs> uh, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Babe, you think we're on the same team? I told that bitch Dongan Rampa. And then I invalidated her feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have Chihiro Fujisaki, the ultimate programmer. This is what y'all look like going, you have Gara hair. This is what you guys look like. The splash picture is them on their 12 accounts. This is the anime profile picture person uh, talking shit about your, about your waifu. Having said that, fit fucking sucks. You got a teacup on his address. What is going on there? What's nah, this Princess bro. Peach like? Nah, <laughs> sleeper build. Sleeper build. <laughs> <laughs> Where we want to put Shihiro? Let's put him in the D tier for Dongan Ranpa. Next up, uh, the ultimate Dojin writer or fanfic writer, Hifumi Yamada. Here comes the self insertion. A lot of self <laughs> to insert, bro. God damn. Bro, he looked like he write porn. Does he even know what shoes he's wearing? Actually, the shoes, if he could see them. Nah, those shoes are fire. Those look like some better Asics he got on. Now, nah, those are some Oswegos, bro. Can we talk about the tailoring? on the pants though can we talk about how is it physically possible that his <laughs> legs are like that bro i'm more impressed with the pants that are tailored now nah, he got titanium rods <laughs> bro <laughs> it's got a fupa pouch and everything in this joint bro he's a size 46 by 28 yo does <laughs> levi sell that oh special order this is nuts but you know what I think the fit kind of crazy. Oh my God, fit is not the right word. No, I mean, yeah, I guess it don't really fit. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's probably one of the most unfit people of all time. <laughs> Yo, rate the fat. <laughs> you <laughs> say what you want. Yo, what do we think about this fat? I mean, fat, I mean. <laughs> what do we think? <laughs> I don't understand what the writing is, but it's pointing at the double chin on the back of his neck. That's crazy, dog. I'm using Google Translate on my phone. Please be particular about the meat fat. Meat <laughs> fat! <laughs> Set up so that the flesh of the stomach moves as finely as possible. Please. <laughs> Yo, what do you guys think about this fat, fit, fat, fat, fit? <laughs> Unironically like the fit. Where are we putting, where you want to put him? I don't know if we're, we can put him anywhere. Dog. Yeah, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Okay, if we're objectively just looking at the outfit, the Raph Simmons Oswego's is actually a nuts pick. Okay, I want to give it a B tier. I'm down to give it a B tier for a big. <laughs> there it is, yeah, yeah. Editor, put the, put homeboy behind me. Next up, we have the ultimate fashionista, um, our Christian equivalent, Junko and Ashima. How come you didn't make this me? Oh, okay, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> also, she died immediately. It's uh, <laughs> a whole lot of legs. She got like this much torso. You're asking what the artists always ask. How do they stuff the organs in there? I like the boots. The boots are kind of cold. This is supposed to be a fashionista. Like, dude, there are other characters that aren't anything to do with fashion that are way more fashionable than her. Bro, it just it doesn't look cool. It's just unasked that like the red is very like annoying. It's very this whole fit is so awkward, you know? I feel like it doesn't yeah. know what it wants to do. Like if you're looking at it, it just feels very like there's so much dissonance for no reason. Obviously the draw is to her legs, right? But then yeah. like they didn't do anything interesting enough to it to make it a worthy visual point. And the boots suck. I like, I kind of like the boots. Nah, I the, like the boots, boots are ugly. Why are they purple like that? 
for fashionista, bro, for putting yourself on this pedestal, we got to put it in the F tier. Well, she did die immediately, so what yeah. else does it see? I'm going to make a 30-foot stand of her, though. Next up, the ultimate question mark, question mark, question mark, Kyoko Kirigiri. Okay. Oh, this is pretty fire. See, this is what I would expect from someone that's a fashionista. This is, like, I feel like even more emblematic of the, like, 2000s. A really well-styled outfit. See, these boots are really cool. Like, this is, like, if the focal point was the legs. Yeah, these are pretty cool. This is a pretty cool fit. I like the one braid, too. That's a really cool detail. Yeah, it's, like, it adds, like, a nice she little She got aesthetic. the Anakin braid. Like, she's about to go kill a bunch of kids in the Jedi Temple type beat with the braid. <laughs> Put in the A tier. I would also say A tier. Now, pull up her bunny outfit. What do you think of this fit? Oh, wait, I've seen you showed me this before. Yeah, this is boring. I want the fat guy as this <laughs> in this pose. All right. All right. We're moving on. We're moving on. Next up, we have Kiyotaka Ishimaru, the ultimate hall monitor. Oh, my God. This fit sucks. Bro, this is a communism totalitarian type beat. This is Emperor Mao's right hand man. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Even in military sense, I don't really like it. I hate honest. this guy's hair so much. Oh, why? What, it what bothers it? me. It just sucks. It's so like, first of all, not military standard. He's a hall monitor. Oh my God. This is the guy in ROTC that was like, you just pushed by a future US Army Ranger. This is what the RAs in my college's dorms felt like. Um, D tier. <laughs> Moving on. The ultimate biker gang got leader guy, uh, Mano Iwata. Oh, this this guy has a bugle on his head. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. Yo, this fit is hot. Yeah, this is pretty cold. The fit's Wait. pretty cold, bro. Yo, this I is love actually fire. Like, I, I don't know what it was about the Recreo episode. We didn't get his full model or whatever, but this is a hard. No, he doesn't like his personality. <laughs> now, nah, this guy, Mondo, Mondo. Uh, <laughs> what is Mondo? All right, bike. I love the pants, how the pants fit. Obviously, this is inspired by like Japanese hood and uh, like gang culture. Yeah, this is hard. I love this. Honestly, I didn't think I'd want to say it, but this is high A, low S for me. Should we put it in the S tier? I don't this know if it's an S. Cause yeah, I don't know. It's missing something. But yeah, but it's like, like that. That belt buckle is crazy. The belt buckle is sick, bro. It's crazy. You got bugle hair, but you saved it. Dog. If it didn't have this hair, it would have been S tier. But because of this hair, it's kind of tanking it. I, I'm cool with A. What if he yeah, had waves cool. though? Let's give this waves real quick. Let's give this hey, waves. Editor, editor, give this waves tier, please. And if you want to be in the wave tier, join our Patreon. Uh, every time we do a tier list, you're gonna be on there. We have Sakura Ogami, the ultimate grappler. Oh God! Yo, she been in the gym, <laughs> bro. Yo. What's crazy is she's this built and she rocking the sailor uniform. That's that. That shit don't fit, dog. You just can't take it off. I mean, the fit itself. Yo, I kind of like the fit, yeah. dude. Like, it's cold. I think it works really well because she's this ripped. Because it's the contrast. It's the it's very tongue-in-cheek way of dressing her. The more I look at it, I'm like, yo, this is like probably one of the most fun character designs that we've. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know what? I say, dog, nah, give it an S tier. Give it an yeah, S tier for stri S -tier. striations, bro. Yeah. Give it an S tier for crush me between those thighs mommy moving on we have the ultimate writer toko fukawa she into some weird shit she look weird for some reason the dress length is telling me she has many a fetishes this is a snooze fest yeah it's plain i mean it's a cool dress but there's no that's it it goes with her character where it fits like this kind of like boring honestly my grandma has the same sock shoe uh fit yeah well we could go and find this exact outfit anywhere on campus and for that i think beat here this girl also doubles as a homicidal maniac named genocide jack oh god whoa <laughs> i'll give credit at least for character designing because i think the point is it's boring it's yeah, plain yeah, yeah. and she is and you do not expect her to be absolutely batshit insane it, it makes sense though because that's yeah. how they be honestly because of the character design now that you mentioned like the duality of this mm -hmm. and, and it kind of bumps like, it up a little bit it, right? it's a, at least a c tier now 
Because it makes yeah. sense. And the tongue, you gotta you gotta add the tongue, bro. Last but certainly not least, if you watch Recreo, this is Ivan's character. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate fortune teller. His power is he gets things right 25% of the time. 30% <laughs> so of the time. So, yeah, 30% <laughs> of the time. So he's just normal. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. 30% of the time? So That's... his fortunes are correct 30% of the time. So imagine if you ask it a yes or no question, you're literally... <laughs> literally useless you have less than a great chance what is this square yin yang symbol right here? yeah i don't really know what the Yo, symbol that, uh, adrian type in goodwill logo <laughs> <laughs> it does look like the goodwill logo i actually really like the fit it goes I with like the it. chill personality i love the layering yeah i want to say a tier a tier i'm down for yeah, a tier i want to give this an a tier i really yeah. love this fit the colors everything i think it works really well so that is every character from dong and romfa let us know if y'all would like to see us to do the next game um but only this does well let us know if you want us to do gears of war outfits that actually let us know if y'all do want to see us do a yeah, video please. game stuff adrian wants to do it so bad yeah <laughs> actually i kind of want to see us do the rest of the games their fits are pretty sick yeah fits are crazy in d2 and v3 mm, i love i love some of these fits we still haven't come out with an outro phrase yet bye <laughs> Congratulations. 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 <laughs> uh, thank you to our patrons, especially Drew Warness. All right. We'll catch y'all next time.